What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we're opening some big ones. We have First Edition Ancient Sanctuary, First Edition Legacy of Darkness, First Edition Pharaoh Servant, First Edition Magic Ruler, I don't know if you guys can see that peeking out back there, First Edition Legend of Blue Eyes. All of these will be opened in this video. I got these from Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh's Box Breaks and I think they all have the potential to pull at least something good. Some of them have even more potential than others. The LOB has potential to pull anything. So that's gonna be pretty crazy. We also have six Storm of Ragnarok packs and six Extreme Victory. So we got Ghost Potential in here, Ultimate Rare, some a lot of fun stuff. Before that, we have a pretty epic giveaway. I'm giving away, this is a reprint Freed the Brave Wanderer, but then we have an original Flame Swordsman in pretty good condition, like Very Light Player Near Mint, very nice condition. And an Ultimate Rare Venomenon, the King of Poison Snakes. This one's not in the best condition, but it is an Ultimate Rare First Edition from Tactical Evolution. So all you got to do to enter this giveaway, make sure you guys like the video, be subscribed, and let me know what you want to see from all these epic packs. Also, a lot of people are wondering, the community tab is where the giveaways are announced. I'm going to put that in the description, so if anybody's looking, they can find it. All right, guys. Let's just go ahead and lay these out. These guys will be here just to, uh, you know, so you guys can look at them and just want them to be open but before that we're going to open up the extra packs because we don't want the video to be two seconds long uh, we are also hoping for a ghost rare i've never pulled a ghost rare out of either of these sets so i'm pretty excited to open more of these there's some pretty cool cards in here like extreme victory we can get tour guide the ultimate rare um whatchamacallit the junk berserker okay tg1 and we can also get the uh, Ghost Rare Junk Berserker, which is pretty cool. Storm of Ragnarok, obviously, I say it every time. We've never pulled the Odin Ghost Rare. Uh, I don't think we've pulled the Ultimate Rare either. Maybe we have. I think, actually, maybe we pulled the Unlimited one once. I can't remember for sure. But that would be a good pull as well. Uh, uh, there's, like, Max C in here. I mean, that's a crazy card. It's still banned, but still worth a lot. We have the Nordic. March toward Ragnarok. And the Watt Hydra, that's a super rare. You can barely tell that that's a super rare. Look at that. That is a, that's an interesting one. It's like an alligator with like a ton of heads. Okay, very cool. Super rare. All right, let's go to an extreme victory, guys. Here we go. We want an extreme victory. We're going to talk a little bit about what I remember we can pull from those OG packs in a minute because it was a box break and some packs were open. So I did kind of see some of the, some of the pulls. Psy Beast and Sealing Ceremony of Amukatan. And Elder Scroll of the Six Samurai. Let's go with a Storm of Ragnarok. We also have some pretty epic box breaks coming up, guys. So if you guys want to become a YouTube member and get early access to those, just check out the join button below or the link in the description, and you guys can get early access and a discount based on the price of your thing, uh, your membership, Black Boost. And that way, if you uh, pay for the membership and you buy a pack, you automatically get your money back for that. So that way, you're not really having to pay for the membership if you're utilizing the pack break, obviously. Okay, here we go. Extreme victory. Enough of that. Let's get to the red carpet, and the red carpet will give us a ghost. TG Striker. Okay, I can't remember if they're before or after. I, th I think they're before, but sometimes I get tricked by these packs. Storm of Ragnarok. So far, we've pulled one super rare, so not looking too great here. We've got the Barrier Resonator, Divine Relic, Blackwing Kalima the Haze, Zero Force, uh, Tier of the Nordic Champions. Oh, Loki Lord of the Acer. So it is after the rare. That's an ultra rare, Loki. Last time we opened these, we pulled the ultimate rare Thor, which is really awesome. It's from the same batch. Okay, Extreme Victory. I hope you guys are getting excited for the finale. For the big boys, the epic packs at the end. We've got Out of the Blue. Scrap Kong, Bo <laughs> Boon of the Mech Lord Emperor, Staplin, TG Recipro Dragonfly, and contract Contact with the Aqua Mirror. Okay, so we've had a couple foils, nothing too crazy yet. I, we can save that for the vintage uh, first edition pack, so I'm down with that. Cyber Shield, let's go. We got the Nordic Relic, Blackwing Kalima the Haze, Resonator Engine, Sheehan's Daredevil, another Ultimate Rare Thor. Oh my goodness! That's amazing! The same batch! That's so cool! That's one of the coolest Ultimate Rares in the set. Wow, I think it was like 16, 17 bucks last time. Uh, so pretty good value for an unlimited card. Very cool. Very cool. That is amazing. Alright, so we're doing okay. That's a good start. Maybe that's some good karma for our uh, first edition packs. Localized Tornado out of the blue. Necro Defender. And Elder of the Six Samurai. Electronic Lantron. 
All right, guys, if you are enjoying these old school openings, make sure you subscribe because we will have more of those on the channel. That way you can know when they're coming. You can, um, of course, get all of them in your inbox, all that stuff. And if you want to hit the notification bell, you'll know exactly when I upload. Here we go, Doppel Warrior. And a DD Sprite. That's a super rare. And a top runner. Why do I feel like... No, this was an ultra rare in Duel Links, I think. That's why I'm thinking it's good. It was, it was just an ultra. I don't think it's actually worth much. All right, Extreme Victory, last pack. And then the last pack of Storm of Ragnarok, we're heading over to the Vintage Packs. The big part of the opening. We've done pretty good so far in this opening. Uh-oh. Chill out of there. All right, Localized Tornado. Out of the blue. Morphtronic Stapling. Runaway Karakuri. Buster Blaster. And a Mechlord Factory. I can't tell if these are super rares right off the bat. Okay, final pack before we get to the final five, the big five, the epic five. Like this video, guys. It's going to be crazy. We've got a zero four. Storm of Ragnarok's been good to us. Can we get the Ghost Rare? Worm Illidan. Token Stampede. Shinai. Oh, we got the Tangnoster. Tanganaster of the Nordic Beasts. And the Karakuri Kuik. Kuik. All right, guys, we are on to the final five packs. Are you guys ready for this? First edition packs. Let's start with Ancient Sanctuary. I believe that this one from this box break, the Seeker Rare was pulled, but there was still an opportunity for an Ultra and a Super, I think. Maybe even more than that. So hopefully we got one. We will see. I can't remember. I remember they pulled End of Anubis. That's all I remember. All right, we've got the kick man go giga gaga gigo look at the centering on these commons not crazy good sword of the soul eater nubian guard and it's aboard the thunder monarch we got a super rare the centering looks pretty good on this okay that's pretty good maybe a psa 10 candidate i actually have pulled that before in like i bought some loose packs and we only got one pull and it was that so it was like out of 10 packs. Okay, these are cool. Regenerating mummy. Wait, did we get Labyrinth of Nightmare? Labyrinth of Nightmare, the card named after Labyrinth of Nightmare, the set. Very cool. All right, that's awesome, guys. That's a great super rare. One of the best super rares in the set. So I, I feel like they already pulled us a Borg in that break. Maybe not. All right, so we have already gotten a foil, which is pretty awesome. Hopefully that's not our only one, but it could be. We have Legacy of Darkness, first edition. This was a 36-pack box that this was from. There was not a Lily pulled. I think they may have pulled the other foils, though. So I think it's Lily only. It's like our only chance. Maybe it's one other super or something like that. We've got Bark of Dark Ruler. Do you guys believe in the Lily first edition? That'd be crazy. Winged Dominion. Burst Breath. We also do have our 36-pack box where we open some loose packs from. Maybe we'll get one from there as well. Burst Breath. Frontier Wiseman. Like button for luck, guys. Here we go. Let's do it like this. Let's do the from the back. Soul Demolition. Double Snare. Devil Snare! Our Robotic Knight, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, okay. Bubble Crash, it's classic. Okay, last card. Royal Oppression, pretty good one. Pretty good rare, but definitely not an Injection Fairy Lily, <laughs> but still really cool. Not a bad pack. All right, we have three more packs. By the way, I didn't mention, I think I spent like 3,000 something dollars on these five packs. Yeah, the LOB was really expensive. That was most of the, the, the cost. But first edition Pharaoh Servant, I just wanted to mention that just so you guys know what I paid for him. First edition Pharaoh Servant, here we go. This was a 24 pack box, so Genzo potential in here. There was not a Genzo pulled in the break. Genzos have been appearing to be tough in the 24 pack box. What the? Upside down? Okay, it looks like the this is one of the ones where the front commons are upside down, the back are not. So we're just going to go with it. We got a Deep Sea Warrior. Can we pull the Jinzo for the third time on the channel, guys? That would be insane. That'd be insane. Oni Tank T34. Doku Royaiba. Dark Bat. Here we go. Okay, we got to go from the back. I think they're like this. I think they're this way. Regulation of the Tribe. Very nice. We've got a Eye of Truth. Let's not ruin it. The Spike Bot. What do we got? Okay, one more card. Insect Barrier. That's classic. Okay, I don't know which way the rare is going to be, but here we go. Morphing Jar number two. Okay, it is a Morphing Jar number two. Pretty cool card. Not the Jinzo, unfortunately. That would have been insane. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Really cool, though. All right, we got two packs left. We're one for three. We have, of course, where our pull would be out of Ancient Sanctuary. 
let's hope we can break that here. So Magic Ruler, I can't remember what was pulled. I think Blue Eyes Tune, was it pulled? I don't remember. I don't remember if it was pulled or not, to be honest. I don't know what was pulled, so we're just going to open it up and see what we can get. Maybe we can get a Relinquish. That would be insane. We've got a Molten Destruction, guys. Crab Turtle. Snake Fang. Peacock. Oh, I ruined it. Rust recklessly. Wait, why did that come up so soon? Okay, I just lost count of it. Electric Snake and Jake and Baku done. Okay, we ruined it. That was my fault. Okay, all right. Not rushed right. Let's look. We got the Arkansas Razorbacks. So if you're a Razorbacks fan, woo pigs. There we go. I am a Razorbacks fan. Though. The final pack. The coup de gras, as they say, I believe. I think that's how you say it. First edition, Legend of Blue Eyes. This is like kind of a. It's a fat pack, guys. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not body shaming. I promise, I'm not body shaming. But. From the box he opened, I think he opened 12 packs. He pulled two supers and an ultra. So there could be a secret in here. There could be an ultra. There could be a super. There could be anything, guys. I'm going to need you guys to send me your energy. Give me some good luck. I think the ultra he pulled was an Exodia limb. So I don't know if that means we're going to get another one because usually they tend to come together. But let's see. All right, first edition LOB. We just opened that pack. These are glossy. This is from the case we bought in Los Angeles. So ironically, I got another pack from that. So that's kind of funny. Remember not to ruin it here. We got Misaki, the legendary swordsman. In warrior number one with the shifted. That is always shifted. Just thought I'd throw that out there. In warrior number one. Someone always asks or mentions it. Off center and commons. Not too good. Mountain. We've got a violet crystal. I think that's a short print. So that's good. Machine conversion factor, I believe, is as well. So that's good. We're getting a lot of spells, which is which is nice. Kagamusha of the Blue Flame. That's a cool one. I do like that one. Whew, are you guys getting nervous? I'm getting nervous. We got Witty Phantom. We don't have very good luck with single LOB packs, so we'll see how it goes. We've got one more. Okay, one more. Yami. That's that's a pretty good one. Okay, the back centering, the back card centering is pretty good. So that's nice. All right, guys. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Potential Blue Eyes White Dragon. Or Red Eyes, Dark Magician, any of those. That'd be crazy. Super Air would be awesome as well. What do you guys think? Here we go. Okay. I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. No! Spirit of the Harp. Spirit of the Harp Rare. Okay. We only got a Zaborg. It hurts a little bit. But that's okay. That's okay. One out of five is better than zero out of five. That was fun to open. The good side about this is, guys... Oh, where's my foil? We do have more LOB packs to open from our from our box. So you guys will see more LOB open. We did pull pretty decent. Uh, we pulled really good out of these. And then we got a Super Reservoir. This one actually looks like maybe. Let's check out the centering. Yeah, maybe it could get a 10. I think this could maybe get a 10, which would be pretty nice. It wouldn't get us our 3,000 plus back, but definitely a couple hundred, a few hundred maybe if it got a 10. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like the video. Subscribe for more epic old school openings. You don't always win, but it's always fun to open them. And if you guys want to support me, check out my TCG player and eBay affiliate links down below. A lot of you guys have been killing that eBay link. All you have to do, if you're buying something on eBay, just click my link and then go buy it. And it's no extra or anything. And some of it comes to me, which is really cool. So instead of eBay getting it, I get it. So it's just like an easy way for you to support the channel if you're already doing it, like already buying something. And a lot of you guys are doing it. I really appreciate it. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yes. Oh. Elemental Hero Dark Bright. Boom! Oh! <laughs>